That's tails. Tails. Did you happen to notice I have two tails on my silver dollar? Now look closely, guys. If I show you two tails, be careful what you believe. I might be tricking you with a real coin. See, it's only an illusion. If I wanted to show you an illusion of two heads, it's the same sleight of hand move. Sleight of hand is where you uh, do tricky things that people don't notice. Now this, of course, you can notice. And now, you call it heads or tails. Heads. Nope, neither one. Oh wait, it is a head. Your head. <laughs> Here, you look like a good sport. Would you blow on that? Dang, that's some strong breath. Have you tried scope or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a joke, of course. Now, doesn't it seem like it's bending? It's an optical illusion. Your eyes can play tricks on you. Because if you move your fingers right, it'll look like the coin's bending. Now, to really convince your audience, you add some something. Yeah, listen it up. They may even believe that it's bending. Uh, you call it heads or toy. We did that one. Oh, you're a good catch, I'll bet. Okay, catch this. Oh, looks like your ear already got it. Nice reaction, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I need a uh, helper to come on up and help me with a penny trick. Now, come on up. Thank you for your bravery. Okay, hold your hand up. I'm going to take this penny and touch Nat's hand three times. When I count to three, just grab the penny. I'll go slowly. We should get it. One, two, three. Now you can do it. Hey, what'd you do with my penny? This is weird. <laughs> I didn't know you knew magic, too. I guess I did know. You, you didn't do that? Well, you know what? We're going to give away a secret. Blow in my hands. Hmm, must be a little change in the weather. <laughs> Thank you for your great help. Matter of fact, you were such a good sport. So open your hands. Got to be a good sport hanging around you. Now, I'll give you a way how do you do this trick, too. Everyone thinks it's in your fist. It's quite simple, but they get a surprise, as you may have noticed. Now, the way you do it is you cup your hands, put some coins in it, put your thumb on top of your wrist and your fingers, and the practice comes with knowing how tightly to hold it. If I went like this, they wouldn't hear anything. They wouldn't be surprised. But if I went like this, they think there's money. Did I hold it too loose? Yeah. If you hold it too loosely, that's an example of what you don't do, because then the money will fall out. Then they get a surprise. So with some practice, you'll be able to do that one. Just a little practice. Now 